The project Smart Energy Management System for Sustainable Extended Range Marine Unmanned Surface Vehicles is a collaboration between Escola Superior Nautica Infante Don Henrique and Instituto Superior Tecnico. This project is co-founded by Frontex, the European Border and Coast Guard Agency, through the Frontex Research Grants Program. This project aims to demonstrate the feasibility of USVs with electric propulsion and photovoltaic panels, and to develop a smart energy management system that handles weather and sea conditions to maximize the mission time and range. With this project, we aim to contribute to the advancement of technologies for sustainable systems in border surveillance missions. The project started with an initial prototype of a USV made of a catamaran hull, two lead acid batteries, two 245 Newton propellers with electric motors, and without any energy management system. During this project, we improved the USV prototype, including new batteries, photovoltaic panels, motors, and propellers, developed a USV model for the energy consumption prediction, developed a smart energy management system capable of optimizing missions and considering the predicted environmental conditions, and build an app for the smart energy management system to be used during missions and connected to the USV prototype. Here we can see the developed prototype with new LiPo batteries and photovoltaic panels and new propellers and motors. We also developed a new smart energy management system with environmental prediction capable of using two algorithms, a bidirectional graph algorithm for short missions and a new A-START algorithm with, with probabilistic behavior for long missions, capable of handling time-varying environmental conditions. The developments of this project were validated during experimental missions carried out in River Tejo, in Lisbon, Portugal. With these tests, we validated the smart energy management system, analyzed the impact of photovoltaic panels, and verified the extended range of the USV. The mission was first planned using the developed smart energy management system, considering the predicted environmental conditions. This system lay out an optimized path and speed profile to be carried out on the mission. The smart energy management system is capable of planning an optimized path and speed profile. Using the predicted environmental conditions for 24 hours, the developed USV models and using two algorithms for the mission optimization, bidirectional graph algorithm for short missions and a new developed A-star algorithm with probabilistic behavior for long missions. The system is also capable of monitoring in real time the GPS and USV sensors and it provides help in decision making when unpredicted events occur. The experimental mission was carried out on the 17th of July 2024, the interface between the sea and River Tejo in Lisbon, Portugal. The mission target was to travel between waypoints A, B, C, D, and E, navigating through 20 kilometers, and to finish the mission the fast as possible, with a final energy reservation of 20% of the battery's energy. When reaching point B, it was verified that the energy consumption was higher than expected due to increased waves conditions. Therefore, with the help of the smart energy management system, a new target speed was recalculated and followed. The rest of the mission was carried out without any significant deviations, which successfully validated all developments made during this project. The experimental results show that 21% of the energy consumption was provided by the photovoltaic panels at the USV max speed. However, at some moments of the mission, the USV was fully powered by the photovoltaic panels, without the battery. These moments are highlighted in green and correspond to reduced speed for the speed recalculation and at zones where the water currents were favorable. Finally, from these tests we concluded that 
the photovoltaic panel's inclusion added from 25% to 50% of mission range. And at low speeds or under favorable conditions, these can provide unlimited range during daytime. The smart energy management system was capable of planning a path that increased the USV range up to 20%, and it allowed to avoid mission abort due to unexpected environmental condition. In the map below, we can see the zones where the mission would be aborted if no photovoltaic panels or smart energy management system was used. And thus, with this project, we demonstrated the feasibility of USVs with electric propulsion and photovoltaic panels, and we developed a smart energy management system capable of handling time-varying environmental conditions to maximize the mission time and range. With these completed tasks, we contributed to the advancement of technologies for sustainable systems in border surveillance missions. We also opened the door for future development and multidisciplinary projects using our prototype as a platform. Possible future applications include the use of the developed USV in a surveillance ecosystem with multiple platforms contributing for other Horizon Europe projects. For example, multiple platforms can be used to create a complete grid surveillance. Drone USV interactions the USV can act as a stationary or moving platform for drones to land and charge their battery. This synergy will also add an increased sea and aerial coverage. The developed system can also be used in the delivery of emergency goods for humanitarian aid. Therefore, the solutions achieved in this project can help the European Border and Coast Guard community in border management and support for cross-border crimes and surveillance. For possible future evolutions, we foresee addition of autonomous visual recognition for the detection of obstacles, such as other vessels, or for the identification of targets, developing autonomous responses to avoid extreme environmental conditions, such as rollover due to waves, integration of a drone in the USV for increased surveillance efficiency. This requires the inclusion of additional systems for receiving drones and to allow their safe landing and charging. And we also intend to extend the application of the developed smart energy management system to other types of vessels to test its importance in the planning of different missions.